Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll share with you how I learned to control the amount of water I use in watercolor painting. I started out with watercolors during my college years as a requirement for one of my class, and I immediately fell in love with watercolors. At first, I find it really hard to measure how much water do I need to dilute paint. If it's less, my paint would be too dry or muddy. If it's more, I might end up drowning my sketch in a very heavy wash. If you happen to like this video, please hit the subscribe and notification buttons. After days of trial and error, I started a different approach. Now you can see I am drawing 5 boxes in our watercolor paper. This will be our tonal value scale for today's practice. The materials that I used for this video will be listed at the description as well as their links to where they can be purchased locally. A tonal value scale will not only train your eyes to see the shade differences, but will also help you to control your paint dilution. We will complete the scale starting with the leftmost box as our darkest value and the last box as the lightest. You can also try it the other way by starting from the lightest to the darkest shade. Note that in watercolors, we never add white or black to make the color darker or lighter. Addition of black will only just make your color muddy, and addition of white will only make your color look creamy or pastel. We only use water to lighten the color. As you go on, notice how much water you put into each shade. If it helps you better, List down how many times have you dipped your brush for water and added it to your paint. Say for example, for the first and darkest shade box, you only dipped your brush for water once. And the number of dips increases, the more you want to achieve a lighter shade. That means that the water and paint proportions for this scale would be 1 dip for the first box, 2 dips for the second box, 3 dips for the third box, and so on. Now let's give it a try. To make it simpler, we will be doing a monochromatic painting. Now I am preparing for our reference sketch. We will use a simple sphere as our subject. I'll also add the labels to use it as our painting guide. Now that our reference is finished, we can start sketching for our painting practice. I'll draw the same drawings as our reference, only this time they are unlabeled.
Let us start with the dark tones. Now we know that this will get lighter. So as a trick, I will gradually add water to make it lighter as it reaches the highlights area of the drawing. Another trick in painting is that sometimes you can just leave the highlights portion unpainted and use the paper itself as your highlight. For our shadows, we need it as dark as possible, so this means our paint will need less water. Continue doing the same for dark areas and add water to go lighter. Additional trick if in case you made a mistake of putting too much paint is the thirsty brush technique. On the reflection part of the sphere, I use this technique to wipe off the excess color. To do this, you just need your clean damp brush to lift off all that excess color. Now on your own, try to check if your scale matches the colors of your painting. If it does, then you did it right. Feel free to add some details to complete or enhance our painting. Feel free to add details to complete or enhance your painting. Remember that the correct amount of water will result to a correct painting. Hope you liked the video and feel free to comment your questions or suggestions below. Thanks for watching. Bye!